Welcome back to Aging is for Everyone. We are talking about immigration today, and we're gonna talk a little bit now about the effect immigration is having on a school here in Buffalo, and that is Lafayette High School. And I'm happy to welcome the principal of that school, Naomi Sari. Welcome, Naomi. Thank you so much. We're the pride of the West Side. Yeah, West yeah. Side. And now, now immigrants are definitely changing Lafayette High School, or they have been over the last several years. Tell me a little bit about the, the array of students that you have there at Lafayette. Within 10 years, we've gone from 29% to 70% uh, increase in our population. 40 three different languages that represent uh, a vast uh, global perspective um, in, in, of our world. Um, I ha I'm happy to say that when I walk in every day, it is the United Nations, and uh, the benefits of having such a diverse population um, allows for growth not only within Lafayette, but within West Side. Right, mm -hmm. right. I mean, it has to be amazing. You have these students who are coming, as you said, from all around the world. Yes. Um, that has to create, however, a, a big challenge, a, a big challenge, and, and how do you teach students who are speaking so many different languages, and, 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 and how do you do that? Well, the one thing that we, um, we do have, we do have uh, English language learners, but we also have um, the support for our ESL teachers to come in mm -hmm. and work with our students. Um, but we are improving the customized supports by allowing for coaches and for coordinators and for reading specialists mm -hmm. um, and also for standing interpreters. So we are looking to customize, provide, um, to build capacity, um, but also to provide the most proficient uh, customized support for our students so they can have um, language acquisition, mm -hmm. but also to, we really want to term our ESL students now um, emergent bilingual. Um, where we are recognizing their heritage and valuing their culture and support and then transitioning to, to English. But we're valuing both aspects right. and what that means to uh, for them as a student mm -hmm. and what it means to our educational community is, is beyond fantastic. Right. Um, the, the district, along with the uh, New York State, mm -hmm. they are also having to build capacity right. um, in making policy and decisions that um, surround our students mm -hmm. um, and that provide them with unique but individualized supports. So it's been an awakening, not just in Buffalo, but across the nation about mm -hmm. what do we do with English language learners um, that come to America and still have to um, be on track for regents requirements right. um, and graduation requirements and what we need to do to get um, uh, policymakers mm -hmm. um, as well as um, uh, folks in, in education to understand what the true needs are for that mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. the, because it seems like there's such a big difference from years ago when people, I mean, you know, Buffalo is a city of immigrants, um, but you didn't keep your language. You know, you, you, you know, I mean, my family was just a couple of generations back of Italian. Mm -hmm. I don't speak Italian. My father didn't speak Italian, yet he was the first generation. Well, I think, <laughs> I think that um, it, that's an unfortunate piece for right. because we are uh, based on the constitution of, of bringing folks here and, and having that diversity and celebrating mm -hmm. those differences. Right. Um, what I would like to encourage as the leader of, of Lafayette and also hopefully a, a trailblazer that we really start um, wrapping our hearts and minds around how important it is to value um, being multi Multilinguistic exactly. or bilingual. Um, we're living in, a, in an economy, in a, in a global economy, that we have to to be linguistic mm -hmm. and and, and uh, see that as a true asset. Right. Uh, especially now that we're sending our young people everywhere mm -hmm. um, in corporations across the, the, the world to do the work. Yeah. Um, so corporations are looking for that. Right. Um, and I'm hoping that Buffalo will see the value mm -hmm. in really truly investing in this population. Um, it, it is a it's a wonderful dynamic um, skill sets that. We mm -hmm. don't want to miss. We don't want to miss those yeah. pieces at all. Yeah. And I think we have. Yeah. Um, but I, there is an awakening. Mm -hmm. there, there is a renaissance moving, um, um, and definitely I have to say there is, it's a civil rights uh, action of the, of the century in regards to education, so mm -hmm. um, I'm so glad that, that the previous um, guests are, are lawyers who are moving right. the immigration uh, process in the way that it should be, right. um, that it awakens the community and, and awakens the minds of people who are making decisions for mm -hmm. our people. Right, mm -hmm. right. It just seems like such a wonderful thing that to people to be able to keep connected with their, their language and their culture. How, and, and then also get the supports that they need exactly. to be able to succeed mm -hmm. in, of course, the school, which is 
evolving all of these tests these days. <laughs> yes, and that, that's a difficult piece. I'm, I'm right. hoping down the line that the um, that the state and also the nation right. will start looking at um, how we transition uh, immigrants who come to this country right. um, in a more appropriate fashion and in mm -hmm. a more purposeful way uh, yeah. and meaningful that it doesn't uh, devalue right. um, uh, their rights um, as, as a citizen to come into the country and progress and, mm -hmm. and, and be um, available to the opportunities um, that are provided in this country for all people. Right, right. Now, how many students do you have at Lafayette? At Kern, I have 854 students. Wow. Um, again, 70% of that population is, is uh, our ESL students. English as a second language. Yes. Wow. Yes. Right. And then how many, as far as, uh, like, you must have um, many teachers. Do you have more teachers on staff than a, 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 a ra another school might? Um, or is it more? We have more uh, ESL teachers on site. Right. Um, but now we need to move to having more standing interpreters. OK. Um, that's the work that I'm trying to accomplish, along with Johns Hopkins, again, um, with 43 different languages. You need to right. be able to transition students from their native language to uh, English okay. and give those Supports on both ends, so right. um, we're, we're advocating for that strongly right. with and the you, district and otherwise. Right. And you mentioned Johns Hopkins. How, yes. how, what is that partnership about? Phenomenal, because they are a research-based um, institution. Uh, they have come in and they recognize that they had to build capacity to work with Lafayette High School, mm -hmm. um, and that was kind of uh, I was taken aback by that, but in a very humble way mm -hmm. um, that they went back to the table and decided, you know, we have to do what's right for for uh, ESL students um, and make people aware across the nation that this would be a program that would be a model program mm -hmm. for other schools in the nation. So they are working uh, to provide us under the SIG grant uh, with customizing services, customizing resources, mm -hmm. building capacity, um, professional development for our teachers, which is fantastic, mm -hmm. and uh, solid partnerships. And, and that's what we need within the community to right. understand this is a valuable piece. Right. Um, and, for, and for them to get on board, we need mm -hmm. corporations and community uh, faith-based organizations to really get on board with the, the possibilities of, of the value of this population. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited about it. Right. Um, this is just my second year as principal at Lafayette. Okay. And every day I walk into the doors, it is, um, it's a delightful place to be. Mm -hmm. It has to be mm -hmm. because you mm -hmm. just have this great, it, it has to have a wonderful energy about it. Yes, it does. And, and you mentioned just, just very quickly, um, working with other community organizations. And is that something that that's your sort of goal to keep Absolutely. Having stakeholders are important in developing um, stronger relationships mm -hmm. um, with community, connecting community with the school, right. connecting parents, bodies with the school. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, we need those uh, partnerships that we move in direction of career options for our mm -hmm. students, and that's uh, and making also uh, college ready. Right. Um, so we have university partnerships, of course, Buff State uh, mm -hmm. and the University of Buffalo, Damon College, um, right. and also faith-based organizations and nonprofits. So we're Wonderful. excited. Sounds like a lot of great work going on there at Lafayette. It is, it is. Thanks for coming to tell us about it. Happy to be here. And thank you for being with us. We'll see you next month for more Aging is for Everyone.